disabling services you don't need before you launch a program that's not going to use any of those services. Chances are when you're playing a video game, you're also not going to be printing or upgrading windows or defragging your hard drive. As a result, you probably want to kill off a whole bunch of services. So I'm going to show you how to quickly build a service stopper and restarter. And we're going to do this using the VB script language that we're starting to do some of the programming tutorials around. So, the code's pretty simple. The first line is going to set a shell, which is just a variable that we pulled out of thin air to make it easy, to create object wscript.shell. Now what this is going to do, and it's a little more complex than this, but for the most part, all we really are going to do is say a shell is going to be used in place of every place that we could have just put wscript.shell. So in this next line where we go a shell dot run we could have gone w script dot shell dot run but it's just faster to put this in so we're gonna say a shell then we're gonna say in the system root wherever you've installed windows system 32 the directory net dot exe stop I mean stop running it Bits, that's the name of the background intelligent transfer service that powers Windows Update and a couple of other things. Zero, meaning don't show us the window. And true, which is supposed to mean don't go on to the next line until the thing has stopped running. And then we're going to pop up a dialog box using wscript.echo bits. And that'll pop up a little dialog box that says bits and it presses OK. This is equivalent to the hello world statement. If you want to print something on the screen, you use wscript.echo. So that previous video that I just did about how to free up some RAM didn't do any echoes and you didn't get any hello worlds or anything. So this is your first hello world. You're going to put bits on the screen. We're basically going to go through each of those lines and we're going to disable another service. So I'm disabling bits browser, that's the computer browser that lets you see what other network resources there are, the group policy service, the home group listener that allows you to listen for requests for music from your hard drive, the provider that will actually serve music and pictures to other devices on the network, um, the group policy agent, um, I disabled the NVIDIA update status service, um, power management, and it goes on from there. Now, you can find the name of any of these services that you want to stop by going into your control panel, administrative tools, services, and then right-clicking on the service that's running, and one of the properties will be the name, and that will be the simple name of each of these services. You can always test whether or not your computer still runs by stopping the service, seeing that it, you didn't break anything, that your game still plays. And if it does stop working, just reboot and everything will restart. So this is the script for stopping. The script for starting is the same thing, except every place that you have stop, you replace it with start. I will post a link to this source code so that you can go out and see it and copy and paste. Um, I have included most of the services that I stop. You could add or subtract services depending on your personal computer. But by stopping all these services, you can free up about 120 megs of RAM. And that's not a whole lot, but it's a bit. And you can be very confident that you're not going to have Windows Update stealing your bandwidth or thrashing your hard drives when you're running, along with having people access the, sh the you know, content that's on your server thrashing your hard drives. If somebody's watching a movie on Xbox that's being played off of your hard drive, those are cycles that you don't have for your World of Warcraft or whatever you're playing, and so it can impact performance. So this stops all of them. When it's done, you can run the start service and restart them. If you want the last line of one of these to be a game that you want to start, 
simply change the system root system32 netexe to the path to the game that you want to start. So, you know, it might be uh, c colon program files slash world of warcraft slash wow dot exe and you would then have a script that would go through stop all the services you don't need and launch your world of warcraft and then you can have a if you use the you'll want to use a one instead of a zero that will allow you to actually see world of warcraft running where a zero would not show it and if you put a true in you can then put the start commands afterwards and have it then, after you've unloaded World of Warcraft, ask you to restart the print spooler and the background intelligent transfer and all those things so that your computer goes back to the way that it should be. Uh, the next video that I upload will be about how to uh, do a better version of the RAM optimizer and we will combine this script with the RAM Optimizer script to build you an even more powerful uh, program launcher. And I'll also show you some other things, but we're going to continue to work on this particular product. And when you're done, you'll have a fully functional launcher application that preps your system to play a game or do something that's processor intensive.